Happened, everybody. I am back to talk about more Mortal Kombat 1 info. So, we just got great news, especially from last night, because this was something I definitely wanted, especially after uh, how 11 and X handle it. And that is how the music will be composed and handled. So, I feel like a, a majority of people already know for like Mortal Kombat, especially is that the mute. I, I might be a bit wrong though. If I am, if there is good tracks, then let me know. But the music has not really been the same for Mortal Kombat as it was before. Because I'd say with Mortal Kombat, especially, there hasn't been like any like get, been banging music in a long time with like eleven and ten. Because like. Normally, when people think about Mortal Kombat music, they immediately think of Techno Syndrome, the theme from the movie, uh, and that's pretty much it. They'll either think of that or something else um, that people already know for Mortal Kombat, especially when you look it up. Because what I, I did try something is, and uh, for YouTube, when you search up Mortal Kombat music, this is what you're gonna get for results. So you're just mainly going to get like the Mortal Kombat theme from Immortals. You have Techno Syndrome, Techno Syndrome, Techno Syndrome. Reptile's theme is actually pretty good. I actually listened to that. And then now you're actually starting to see the music from Mortal Kombat 1 pop up, which didn't even happen at all for, I'd say, uh, Mortal Kombat 11. Because 11, the music I just pretty much hear non stop. It's like very forgettable. Whereas compared to this, this is actually being posted and it's like actually showing up for people. But yeah, look, so you just see Techno Syndrome, Techno Syndrome, Reptile Steam, and yep, still Techno, we're still getting stuff for Techno Syndrome. But you get basically get the idea. That's pretty much it. But the whole majority of Mortal Kombat just goes back to Techno Syndrome. While with Street Fighter, here's what you got. So. The, the soundtrack pops up. You have the Street Fighter 4 music, the Hadouken theme. You got a bunch of other tracks even showing up. I don't even know why Cam is in, in my recommended. Ken's music pops up. You're just getting like a whole list of different tracks from the Street Fighter series. That's something you're not really getting with Mortal Kombat. And I wouldn't say like Street Fighter's the only one that does that. Cause let me also show you because uh, Guilty Gear gets this, Te I'd say Tekken does this, uh, pretty much a lot of other fighting games do this. Also, speaking of Guilty Gear, I actually wanted to bring this up for a while, because the big thing that got me uh, uh, into Guilty Gear as well was just the music. Because this, So this is the trailer from 2019, it debuted in 2019, as you can see it's got a whole new look. It's, be it's gonna be coming out soon, but then here's the song that plays. That got me into this game. Oh, the smell of the game. So yeah, as you can tell, banger song. A lot, just to go along with the gameplay. The the biggest quote that people made about this was you're getting a $60 soundtrack and a game a lot to go along with it that is one of the things that people were saying when it came to Guilty Gear music this is another point same thing with Street Fighter right when they dropped the teaser I was just thinking about this song non-stop not on the sidelines just for just for these lyrics for my city for my town I'm gonna go and get the crown to the top, see the sights, see the sights, see the sights, get it on. But yeah, you get my point. The person that will be working on the Mortal Kombat 1 music is Casey Edwards, which is fantastic because he did, he worked on Devil May Cry 5 and the music on that was incredible. If you want examples, I won't be using the music here because like that one, I that's too risky to, to like start playing, but just look up Devil Trigger and uh I am the storm that is approaching. actually finding he did say in his tweet you can actually find an example of his music from the uh 
the cage mansion. So this is just a fraction of how his music sounds. So let me replay it real quick. Alrighty, it's sounding insane. I'm because it, it sounds like it's just so elevating, just the way it's like um going back and forth. I like I like how it just like is just has that feel where you're actually like in a match in a way. Because I don't because for a lot of the themes for the MK stages, I really don't get much out of them. I really don't really hear them at all when I, like, I'm playing or getting hyped as I'm fighting because I'd say the last major one that had like crazy music was MK9 which remixed a lot of the music from Mortal Kombat 1 through 3 from Mortal Kombat 11. Yep, you just have that. Here you go. Here's the one from Goro's Lair. Listen to this one. Yeah, so that one already just sounds mad intimidating because you're about to fight Goro. He's standing right on his throne and it is about to go down. That is the feel I need back in these games. I need the feel that I'm about to face someone big. I'm about to do major damage, and it's probably going to end with a lot of gore. Biggest thing I do hope to see with uh, with this OST though is that every character does get their own unique theme because with because like look for Street Fighter they do they, this is something they do especially with other games as well because like look every character got their own unique theme. And it it's great. It gives them you get to hear a bit of their identity. You get to get their type of feel, it, and it just sounds sick to listen to all the time. Especially Ken's, because I listen to Ken's nonstop, and it's just a, such a banger to listen to. It's also one of the best ones, by the way, because I think that one that like, has like yeah, <laughs> that one has the most along with juries. So yeah, definitely go give those a listen to because those two are great tracks. That's gonna be it for this video. Let me know what your favorite Mortal Kombat music was uh, and what you would definitely want to hear in the OST and let me know what you want me to discuss next time I am trying to soon hit hopefully 35,000 subscribers by the end of this year so, uh, be sure to drop a subscribe and like and I shall see you on the next one thank y'all for watching